good afternoon, everyone. And it's Rollin with Friar Talk Gaming. And we are on Griffin, Indiana, 22. And this will be episode 11. And right now we're going to be working on some... Uh, loading this up on the trailer real quick. And we'll take this over to town. A lot has been going on, a lot of working, and can't wait to update you on everything. There we go. Bill and I have been working hard trying to get this farm. We're building and building and building. We want to make this farm big and profitable. this right now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just park that trailer somewhere because I want to fill that up when we take it so you know if I take a half a trailer we can take a full one save that gas Start real quick. Okay. Well, before I get in there, I will give you a little tour. So we build the landing that we were talking about for the trailers. Some of the equipment. We put a marker fence around it. Look how much we had to do. It was a lot of work. And uh, so we kind of blended it right into here. And like, look how tall and look how much dirt we had to put into this. So it was a lot of work. Trim this up, and we're going to trim some more trees out of here. And this will be for area for some more equipment too. Um, let's raise this up, and we'll start heading back because we have our new uh, silage round rolls and the other sheds for the round rolls. 
So, getting over there. And we had built our two sheep buildings and our chicken coop too. So today that's on our list to go get some animals so we can start that up. Chris and his crew have been working really, really hard to get us set up. A lot more to go, but we're working it. Still working in this area, but pretty soon he'll be moving over to the other side to get our greenhouses done. And we're looking at putting in a water system. So, but here we are. Our three. For straw, silage, hay, and grass are bales. So we go ahead and I told Bill we'll see what happens, but it looks like we're going to have to buy some straw this year. It's fall time, winter's coming soon, so I'll have to work around his equipment Bill's trying to contact me right now. Hold on a second, he just texted me. Said he had just contacted a livestock broker and we're supposed to go over later on and go we'll pick up our livestock. Said okay. I knew this was going to be hard with these rolls. I think it'll probably be easier to put them like this. And stack them.
you go. Let's turn the lights on, maybe it'll be easier to see. I have to get a new piece. So what we'll do is just do this. this side so I can get it closer to the wall learning here learning here there we go question is how far to go <laughs> gotta put that a little bit closer This one through here too, and there we go. I'm catching on now. Okay. All right. And only 400 more to go. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll be back after I finish all this work. And then uh, we'll see you when I'm done. See you in a bit. Okay, everybody, we're back. We're down to 
last three. Two of them I'm going to take down to the sheep barns. This one I'm going to put in the shed. Put that all shed. And then take the other two down there to fill up. So we'll go ahead and flip this. Got down to a pattern here, and it worked out pretty good for myself after a while. quick and close that so all that haze in there now uh, and we'll take these two down to the sheep barns now the sheep I have sheep for wool and sheep for sheep milk so Got two different kinds of sheep here. I'd like to see which ones would be more profitable. Which to buy some chicken feed. I never thought about that either, so we have to order some of that. And I text Bill and told him he goes, yes, we do. Chop it up. Okay, there you go, put some in there, let me see if it's going to take more. I take more than one. Come on, with a pocket later and grade that down some. Yep. I'm gonna have to get water too for it. 
out here and find out how much food it really takes. Let's sort of put the sheep in. Temperature and all that. Come in here. I might take more water, it looks like, and put it on to me. So these ones here can take 60 sheep at a time. A climate control. So I'll have to go get two more. Or the other. I'll have to go get the small water trailer and fit water in all the pens. Let's go. Put the tractor so we can get the trailer of water.
just park this here for now. Get out and close these. Coming. Start this. And drop this off. Drop the weight off here and turn around and pick it up in the front. Come over here, I'm going to stop and get some fuel and see I'm low on fuel. Good. Finish this road soon. Perfect. Well, I get some fuel right now. Okay. Filling it up.
go over there and I'll talk to Bill, see what's going on. Just walking around. Alright, so I'll see you in a little bit. Hey everybody, it's Ron, I'm back. So I talked to Bill about <clears throat> where do we put the water in these new sheep and uh, chicken cool pieces. You don't put water, they automatically do it. They had hoses hooked up to them. So I'm like, oh, okay. So we'll pick up that trailer. And we'll take it uh, over by the garage area. And then what we'll do is we'll go grab the tractor trailer truck. And we will start getting our livestock. He had already ordered a trailer from Scott. Um, and he called Bill earlier today and said it was there, so we can go get our livestock now. So we'll go ahead and take care of this first. I'll stick the trailer here for now. And this is the tractor from the main farm, so I'll just park it here for now. We'll take it back later. Space they're having to open the gate because this gate's already open.
You save money by picking them up yourself uh, instead of having them delivered. So, yeah, we spent money on a trailer, but now we'll always have a trailer so we can, within time, we'll save on cost. Stocks down this way or the next street up we'll figure it out. That's right here. shape for the wall apparently there was a mix-up and they had delivered our milking sheep don't know why but they did so I can only fit 38 sheep on this at a time train I could go back for the other the uh, 35 of them, 37 of them. I wish they could widen this some, but we don't have, you can see we don't have much room for that, so. See if I need to put more hay in there for them because of it.
If I can fit down this side, pass repair. Big, there we Move all of them or just one? Okay. Alright. Let's go get the second batch. I'll have to get that tree out of there. Let's go in there and all my chickens and go on and pay for the rest and I'll be right back. Okay, thanks, Sam. So I just paid all the bills. 
He says, well, how the chickens deliver? They gotta be chick uh, delivered to you. Uh, they have a wholesaler out. No bring it. So I'm like, okay. So here we go. So I ordered chickens and a couple of roosters. So, and I wanted mature ones. So we go ahead and take this trailer back, park it, park the truck, and then go over and get these sheep fed all the way. You remember I only put a couple bales in there and they probably need a lot more than that. So Okay, so we're gonna head over to the bale shed and start bringing some of the bales over there. Get these sheep fed.
All right, everybody, this will be the end of uh, episode 10. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, I would like you to go ahead and hit the like button. And if you like our channels and like our episodes, I would, I would like you to uh, subscribe. Or uh, we can always use more subscribers for our channel. And you guys are like family to us. So you have a great day and have a blessed day. God bless. See you again. Bye.